to think that it's the true purpose of the great tree. Yeah, it sounds crazy. It sounds like a fairy tale. I read that completely wrong. No, it sounds even crazier than that. I don't know what to make of it, really. Hmm, and this robbed individual who revealed this seems mysterious, too. Robed, not robbed. My lord, I cannot speak today. What the hell are they? I thought they appeared in Donna's memory. Wouldn't that mean they're from the past, too? Does that mean other Eternians survived besides Donna? If only we knew more. They were in the Valley of the Kings, and they knew the secret of the Great Tree. Even if they are Eternian, I have no idea who they could be. If Donna doesn't know, then there is not much else we can do, I'm afraid. But if we were telling the tr if they were telling the truth about the great tree, uh oh, let's continue this conversation later, Adol. We are officially in the final chapter. Hey, what's up, my dokus? Jason here, welcome back to more Ize Lacrimosa of Donna. Last time, we finished the Valley of Kings and found a very mysterious person. We've seen them in Donna's past before, but they never, we don't really know their name. Like, they've never given out their name. This time, we, well, also last time we got warned by, uh, Pero that, uh, Castaway Village was being raided by Primordials. And this time, we're gonna be taking care of those Primordials. First off, we have another Flamestone to give Kathleen, which means we can upgrade our gear once again, even further. So, you know what, I say we do that. We have the Hyperion Blade. We can go ahead and upgrade uh, Donna's. It's complete. And yeah, we can't. Oh, I guess we could reforge. Um, Leave it to me. All right, finished. Wait, are we behind on Laxia's? We are. We were behind by like two upgrades. I'll get started. Whew, it's complete. I'll get yeah, started. we literally were behind by like a few upgrades on everybody's. Whew, it's complete. Leave it to me. Whew, Oops. It's complete. Yeah, because now everybody has ones that need to be enhanced for you know. With Dragon uh, Crest. I can technically level up, but... All right. I want to at least get everybody's new equipment. Oh, we can give Madonna another gift. But, I'm going to wait for that a little bit. Don't, don't have any quests, but we do have a raid. So, let's begin it. Alright, let's begin. Yeah, let's go. All right, here we go. I just forgot that like I need to change this up because I actually liked having my uh, my one skill. So I need to change skydive. Uh, you know, we'll trade it out for aura blade. Actually, I'll change aerial spin there. I'll and then I'll do sky drive. There we go. I don't know, I just liked having aerial spin. It was just a little easier to work with. And it's like one of our not costly SPs or special attacks or whatever. 
Anyway, we're gonna be fighting a lot of familiar primordials, but we'll also be fighting some new ones. The new ones probably won't come till later in the later in the raid. Getting some honey, getting some sturdy bones. Oh, speak of the devil, I don't think we've fought that kind of primordial over there before. Oh, hello. We it's been like what? Two episodes since we fought one of your kind? There we go. Now we can deal with the big fella. Another one, my lord. Okay, this is probably the last one. All right, let's start fixing it. There we go. Friends, you are doing fine, my man. Sorry about that. You need to check something. But you still have the similar enemies, so. Okay, we got this guy. Um, he just like come from like the center or something? He's, he's kind of just there. He didn't really come from any direction specifically. Okay, looks like we're reading a lot of these, um, the Val 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 I think is what it's, how it's pronounced. If not, well, I've been botching a lot of how things are said in this game for the entire series, so. No point in stopping pronouncing wrong now, I mean, it literally... I got corrected constantly in cutscenes about how Gendermine is said, and I still say it is Gendermine. I didn't mean to use the extra skill! Okay, that's wave two complete. That was a little more of a pain. Well, you're welcome. Wow, Aaron came out on top on that one.
Hmm. There are a lot more primordials this time around. Yes, and they were behaving strangely in the northern region as well. Perhaps the two are related. <laughs> yeah, that one looks like it's rare to fight. That primordial. It's coming. Brace yourself. All right, we're at the final wave. And we gotta defeat the boss leader, which comes in the form of this guy. We have the, the Primarivor. Primarivor, I think is how you pronounce it. Yeah, he's looks like he's going down easy, which is okay. one. Yeah, it was. Adol, I've never seen this species of Primordial before. No, it's different. The span of Primordial history is longer and more diverse than that of humans. I think the Primordial we just saw predates the Eternian era. I see. No wonder I didn't recognize it. Why did it appear now? I'm not sure. Uh, oh, oh man. Sounds like more video visitors. We seem to be popular today. <laughs> this might be too intense. Should we get Dogi and the others to help us? Speaking of which, they haven't even showed up yet. They might be struggling on their end as well. Guess we gotta do what we gotta do. Man. This is the fourth day in a row. Feels like we're under constant siege. This situation is clearly getting out of hand. What the hell are those damn things ev even coming from? If we don't do something soon, we're gonna get starved out. Even if we dip into the provisions we've stocked for the ship, that'll buy us a week at most. Easier said than done. In a situation this desperate, charging blindly will do us more harm than good. Hmm. If we only knew where the primordials were coming from. Maybe we should focus on figuring that out before anything else. Thanks to Donna, we have the ability to warp. If we use that ability between beast raids, there might be hope for us. That could work. Given the circumstances, we must choose our destination carefully. We need to warp somewhere that will allow us to effectively assess the island situation. Yes, the location provides the best view of the entire island. Though it is dangerous, it's still worth checking out. <laughs> I knew... I knew you knew at all. If you head there right now, we can hold off the beasts for the time being. We'll do our best to support you for as long as we can. We're all counting on you, Adol. Hmm, I hope we can. 
We'll use Paro to keep each other posted in case one side needs reinforcements. Safe travels. Yep. And if we look here, we have new quests. We, uh, I guess let's, you know, before we head off, let's actually take a look at these quests. I had the chance to check out the bulletin board. When I first started sm smithing with Auric Alchem, I had a lot of trouble with it at first. But I finally have a pretty solid understanding of its properties. Now I can reforge your weapons so they're just as good as those made for of pure Auric Alchem. That being said, it took a hell of a lot of work for me to get this far. If you wanted me to forge Auric Alchem armor, for example, it would take me a very long time just to refine the ore. Which is why I'm going to ask you a favor. I need you to bring me some pure Auric Alchem, high quality stuff with no purities. I know this is asking a lot of you, but if I had some, I could make incredibly powerful armor that you've never seen before. You do this favor and I guarantee you guys won't regret it. This is going to be a challenge on my end too. Thanks in advance. Good luck to you. Alright. So we need to find pure orc alchem. Which... Yeah, we're probably going to have to... Keep our eye out for it, because... How can I help you? Is that it? How can I help I don't you think we have any it? pure orc alchem, and I'm not sure where we're going to get it. May I have a moment of your time? I've determined that you are the, a man in possession of considerable skill. Mm -hmm. Such that you are worthy of Christianing yourself adventurer. Oh. But I have yet to demonstrate to you the full extent of my capabilities. Mm hmm. You are very, every you are every bit as perceptive as I hoped you'd be. It is because I acknowledged your skill, acknowledge your skill that you, I have requested this favor from you. I recently discovered tr tracks not far from the village that had been left by a primordial. The creature may still be in the vicinity of its tracks. However, I see no need to involve the rest of the village in this matter. So, what say you? Will you join me on tracking down this beast? Naturally, I expect you to fight the Primordial should we find it. Very well, I shall guide the way. Saw the tracks around here. More tracks. I only observed one set when f first I came here. Our guests have arrived. I fear we may have bitten off more than we can chew. <laughs> a bold claim to be sure. It might be wise to evenly distribute our foes between us. Best of luck to you at all. Alright, we're flying solo on this one. But it shouldn't be too hard to take these guys down. We've only got two of them. Why do I keep using the extra skill?
Oh. oh dear, I can scare, scarce believe how many of these beasts actually appeared. My intel assessment was far too lenient. Please accept my most sincere apologies. No, my inability to foresee this outcome was a grievance error on my part. This won't do. This won't do at all. And I solemnly promised my lord. Two. I would ask that you not reveal the details of this in incident to Mistress Laxia. In truth, Lord Roswell gave me one final order before his departure. He released me of my, from my duties to serve him, so that I could serve his family from that day on. In his honor, I have kept a watchful eye on Mistress Laxia over the years. That is why I cannot afford to make a single error in judgment. I still have much to learn, I'm afraid. <laughs> you are right, you are indeed. I certainly can't give up now. Now then, having witnessed your po your prowess, I have one more favor I wish to ask you. If it's not too much trouble on your part, can you assist me with thwarting this batch? Jolly good. Two arms, then. Thank Christ we don't have to f actually fight those guys. Thank you very much for helping me, Adol. <laughs> you were ever so humble. Adol, Fraz. Where have you two been? I was worried about you. Ah, oh, my apologies. Our business took longer to resolve than anticipated. You don't sound like you're about to tell me what exactly is going on. What have you two been up to? Look at you, Adol. You're covered in dirt and your collar's bent out of, of place. My word, what on earth did you get yourself into? This display calls in mind vivid memories of Mistress Laxia and her father. Oh dear, why would observing this give rise to such sentiment? That goes for you too, Fraz. Hey, are you listening? <laughs> of course. And might I say you two are the ideal image of a devoted husband and wife. Uh, wh what Um... Fraz, how dare you say something so, so unnecessary? <laughs> Alright, inventor needed complete. We get a pumpkin pie recipe and a Fraz's approval upgraded. Now, I'm going to accept this last quest, but we're not going to do it because I think it requires a little more than uh, what we have the ability to do right now. I had something I wanted to discuss with you. As you probably know by now, the ship's construction is nearly complete. I know this isn't the right time for... Actually, never mind. This is the perfect time for a ceremonial ship launching. Yeah, it's, it'll definitely raise everyone's spirits. However, it's a tradition to use a white wine in a ceremonial ship launching. 
Obviously, it's going to be hard to find white wine on this island. But I talked to Thanatos, and he says he knows how to make something close enough. Apparently, you can make alcohol from fermented tree sap. Can you find three fermented sap for me? Thanks, Adol. If you need help, you should talk to Thanatos. He should have more information for you. Sorry to dump this on you, but I really need that sap. With everything going on, please be careful while you're out exploring. Alright, um... I guess we kind of have to talk to Thanatos. Where is Thanatos, actually? Oh, there he is. Hmm, you're looking for fermented sap? That stuff's pretty rare. Well, I'm sure you'll be able to find some. I found some myself at a, on a tree growing in a swamp. If you're going to look anywhere, I recommend swamps and marshes. Alright, that basically gives us... Oh, look at that. Over here. And over here. So I think we'll head out and check those out next time. Next time on Ise Lacrimosa of Donna, we finish the quest that we can take care of and then head off to Mount Gendermeen to figure out why exactly the primordials are going crazy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like, share it out a ton. Make sure to subscribe to Dibbly Dibbly if you have not already. And I will see you guys all later.